Hey, how's it going? Hey there, it's going great. How about you? I see you're rocking an open AI hoodie. Nice choice. In case you missed the buzz, GPT-40 is OpenAI's brand new AI model, and it's gonna be two times faster and 50% cheaper than GPT-4. They're also gonna make GPT-4 free to users. The biggest transformation we're gonna see is Foro's ability in voice and conversational abilities. What about this? That adorable stuffed animal is un oso de peluche in Spanish. It can adapt its speaking style and voice, be more dramatic or even sarcastic when asked. Everything you say from now on is just gonna be dripping in sarcasm. How does that sound? Oh, that sounds just amazing. A new mind-blowing real-time camera feature will also let you point your camera at something and ask the AI questions about what it sees with real-time responses. From what I can see, it looks like you're in some kind of recording or production setup. With those lights, tripods, and possibly a mic, it seems like you might be gearing up to shoot a video. On top of a new desktop app that will allow text, speech, and image inputs, as well as screen sharing with the AI so that it can analyze what is on your screen. This code fetches daily weather data for a specific location and time period, and then displays the plot with the average, minimum, and maximum temperatures over the year. Sounds incredible, right? But what does it mean for business owners and employees? There are three ways I see this enhancing the business landscape and three ways that I see it disrupting it. The model picks up on emotion, right? When I was breathing super hard there, it could tell and it knew, hey, you might want to calm down a little bit. You're kind of running a little bit too fast. First, we'll see a brand new rush of AI tools in the marketplace to capitalize on this by building this feature into business platforms specifically related to customer service. Picture a customer support system that adapts to the most convenient mode of communication for your customers. Now you've isolated the term with X on one side and it looks like three X equal three. What do you think we should do next to solve for X? Customers could send a video or an image of an issue they're having with a product or a service. The AI will then analyze the problem, then offer a solution based on its training. Human customer service agents will be hit hard by this development because this all occurs in real time. Two, real-time multilingual communication and translation services in GPT-40 will open up new avenues for businesses looking to expand internationally. Much like what occurred when the internet took off. We'd like you to act as our translator for us. So every time I say something in English, can you repeat it back in Spanish? And every time he says something in Spanish, can you repeat it back in English? Sure, I can do that. Let's get this translation train rolling. But there are two things to consider. There'll be new revenue stream opportunities, but like the internet, it will mean that you'll face greater competition from international businesses. Before we hit number three, the rules in my book in The Wolf is at the Door and my online course apply directly to this situation. You must begin your pivot now to adapt to these brand new developments. Start by taking the free AI skills quiz in the link below to see if you're truly ready for these changes. Three, and this is a game changer. We'll see more interactive marketing campaigns where companies will train a conversational voice AI to actively engage with customers in real time. I'm so excited for this. <laughs> because it sounds more human now, the competitive advantage with speaking to a human or a sales representative, coach or consultant, will erode as the output quality continues to improve and consumers' demands for instantaneous responses increase. Oh. Ooh, a bedtime story about robots and love? I got you covered. Gather round, Barrett. The first way that it will negatively disrupt business is in the arena of consumer trust. Disclosure of the use of AI in advertising will become increasingly important. According to Future of AI in Advertising, they found that in a study they conducted in conjunction with Yahoo, one in four consumers notice the AI disclosures in ads, resulting in a 47% increase in ad appeal, a 73% rise in ad trustworthiness, and a 96% jump in overall brand trust. The second way is consumers using these more advanced models to clone services such as consulting, 
marketing, therapy, and coaching. Due to the human-like output. Hey there, what's up? How can I brighten your day today? Even though this model still produces hallucinations as shared by OpenAI in this release, consumers will be tricked into a false sense of security, becoming more reliant on it when using it directly. But here's where your competitive edge lies. Nuance in understanding will be key as AI continues to summarize what's available online. It looks like you're feeling pretty happy and cheerful with a big smile and maybe even a touch of excitement. The third is layoffs. Because we haven't yet seen huge numbers of layoffs occurring due to AI, there is a false sense of security in an economy with low unemployment. The most effective way to adapt is to assume vulnerability. This applies to both service-based businesses and employees. Don't expect companies to announce they're making layoffs due to AI for fear of a public relations disaster. It's more likely going to present itself in hiring freezes. While these advances offer incredible opportunities, we can't blindly walk into the future without acknowledging the threats. Because at the end of the day, how can you truly adapt to AI if you don't truly understand what you're adapting to? Grab a copy of my brand new book and take the free AI skills quiz right now to make sure that you're prepared for what comes next in the next three to five years, not just tomorrow. The link's in the bio.